The great American eclipse now one week away. Weather permitting, millions of Texans will have a great view of the near total eclipse. Now, the last time we got this much anticipation for an eclipse was uh, in the U.S. in 2017. Here's Kim Castro with why this year's eclipse should be more entertaining. Millions of Texans are getting front row seats to a spectacular celestial event in April, a total solar eclipse. Many of us remember the last one that happened in August 2017, and according to NASA, this year's will be even more exciting. The first and most obvious reason, a wider, more populated path. 2017's path of totality ranged from 62 to 71 miles wide, with about 12 million people inside the path. This time, the path is 108 to 122 miles wide and crosses right through the heart of our great state. In even more densely populated areas, an estimated 31.6 million people live in the path this time. There will also be a longer time of totality, up to 4 minutes and 28 seconds versus 2 minutes 42 seconds in 2017. In 2017, the sun was nearing solar minimum, a quieter time for our start. This year, the sun will be in or near solar maximum when the magnetic field is more active. So when the moment comes to see that breathtaking corona, viewers could see streamers and prominences, bright curls of loops coming off the sun. There's even a chance to see a coronal mass ejection like this one. The April eclipse is also providing NASA with several research opportunities that will build on what was studied in 2017. NASA's Parker Solar Probe and Solar Orbiter will provide insights from the corona itself. There is no question this will be a historic event. That's why we're proud to announce an exclusive partnership with Space Center Houston. Join us for an eclipse watch party on April 8th. For making plans for the eclipse, head to KHO.com where we have a breakdown of the Texas cities expected to have prime viewing. We've posted the exact times the event will start and end in those cities. And if you're at home, catch our coverage, as Kim mentioned, live team coverage starting at noon on the big day from Space Center Houston, Monday, April 8th. Here's the thing, though.